Hi everyone, how are you doing? Hope you've had a good day. Have you, a bit, you've had a lovely time today, I bet a lovely lunch, haven't you? So um, I bet you're all snuggly now, ready to go for um, to bed, ready for school tomorrow. Yay! So um, tonight's story is called Winter Nap. So if you're sitting comfortably, Nana's got the wrong glasses on. Oh, I can see you now. I will begin. Bambi nosed under the crunchy leaves, looking for fresh grass. There was none. He looked up at the trees, but there were no green leaves there either. Don't worry, Bambi, Thumper said, when he saw the confused look in Bambi's eyes. We find what we can when we can. And we always make it until spring, Bambi sighed and nodded. Besides, it's better to be awake than napping all winter. Yuck! Thumper hated to go to bed, even at bedtime. Napping? Bambi didn't know that some animals slept through the winter months. Sure, you know, like flower and the squirrels and the bears. Haven't you noticed the chipmunks putting their acorns away the past couple of months? Bambi nodded. That's their food for the winter. As soon as it gets cold enough, they'll just stay inside and sleep. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Thumper explained this to his friend. But how will they know when it's time to wake up? Thumper tapped his foot. It was a good question. Since he had never slept through the winter, he wasn't sure of the answer. Let's go ask Flower, he said. And so the two friends headed for the young skunk's den. Flower, you sleep all winter, right? Thumper asked. It's called hibernation, Flower said, and yawned a big yawn. Ooh. Bambi wants to know who wakes you up in the spring, Thumper said. <clears throat> You'll be back, won't you, Flower? Bambi asked worriedly. The little skunk giggled. Oh, we always come back, just like the grass and the flowers and the leaves, Flower explained. I never thought about what wakes us up. It must be the sun. Bambi smiled. He didn't know how grass and leaves would come back in the spring, too. He was feeling much better about the forest winter nap. Suddenly, Thumper started laughing. He rolled onto his back and bumped his large hind feet in the air. What is it, Bambi and Flower asked together. You really are a flower, Flower, Thumpy giggled. You even bloom in the spring. <laughs> Aww. And there's a picture of Flower yawning. So it's not like going into hibernation, but you are going to go to bed now. Um, but you need to wake up in the morning ready for school. So I hope you sleep well and I love you loads and loads. So night night Atty, I love you. And night night Torby, I love you. Night night Ruby, love you. And night night Max, love you. So be good and I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow's story is from the Fox and Hound. So we'll look forward to that. Bye everyone. Love you.